Okay, I suck. And that's why I'm not building it in front of you guys. Because I'm questioning everything I'm doing. Can you believe it? Two videos in one week. I'm very happy to be back. So, obviously, by today's title, we are going to be talking about Santana's new enclosure. We do have a dragon at Santana before the comments go off and people are like, he is a, uh, look at, oh, people always say he's albino. No, he's not albino. He is a hypo zero leatherback bearded dragon. So let's just clear that up before the comments start popping off. Second of all, I was really excited to get offered this free enclosure to try out from Doobie Roaches. Um, I have had some issues before when it comes to enclosures, like my animal plastic PVC one that's right here. It literally took like a year. So when I received this one, like I received the message from them that they're going to send me one. And I was like, all right, probably going to be a month until I see that baby. But it was literally like within a week. And then they also offered me a beautiful background. Um, <laughs> I am a not a handy woman. Although I like to tell myself I am, I'm a not. But I built this baby all on my own. So if I can do it, you most definitely can do it. I did not film me building it because that would be a terrible video. Like I had so many ups and downs. I'm so good with like this build. Already effed up. So don't do what I did and like build the frame. You have to put this in it and then build around it if that makes any sense probably doesn't just read the directions very carefully i do share them with you so if you do plan on purchasing one of these enclosures you don't make the same mistake i do you probably won't because you're not an idiot like i am but anyways um i built this enclosure on my own i put santana within in it within that night i still actually have to put his uvb inside his enclosure um they offer like some little racks but i just couldn't screw them on so i'm just waiting for my husband to help me out with that um these are stackable they're lightweight so i had i have had santana in a four by two by two enclosure for a very long time but it was this last one right here which at the time was a great idea because i'm like oh it's gonna last me forever and like I wasn't sure about the wood ones that they were offering me. Those reptile habits tats were not around, so I had very limited options on when it came to like finding one. Now it's so awesome that so many companies are making enclosures because these reptiles really benefit it from it, especially the bearded dragons. They cannot be in 40 gallons anymore. So I had the glass enclosure and that was it's cool and all, but like <clears throat> it's a pain in the butt. Like I can never move it. It's really thick glass, it's just heavy, and I did make it look cool with this crystals, but I really love this one. I think mainly what sold me on it is the background. I believe you can buy that separately, but like the background was super easy to put in. I mean, easy is my key. So everything was just smooth sailing when it came to building it, and just because it's like lightweight doesn't mean it's cheap. Enjoy it. I have seen him use the background. I think just the background in general just sells me because it just makes it look complete. There's not so much like empty space unused. Like with this baby, there was so much top space I like didn't know what to do with it. I could have like built my own background, but I wasn't confident enough in that. So if you're a person like me, I'll just suggest you guys to check them out. It's 10 out of 10, five stars. Um, he was once in like a bioactive, uh, setup and he is not anymore. They gave me an actual, like, mat, like not a mat. I don't know what you call it, but it's the same material as like, I don't know. It's like a rough kind of surface. He hasn't gone to the bathroom in it because usually he goes to the bathroom when he takes like a soak. Um, but I think I am going to give him half dirt and then like not have dirt because he did enjoy digging so that's like my only thing i think i will go back to and then also for the background you might would want to like seal the sides of it because it kind of pops out a little bit you just don't want like crickets or any bugs to get back there i don't think like my bearded dragon could get back there but maybe like a baby one could 
a snake definitely could. I have seen people use these for their snakes and I'd actually be really interested in buying one for my ball python. I'm still testing out the PVC one and we'll talk about that one another time. But um, I believe these guys are extremely like affordable. I think they look amazing. I love the black. I think they come in white as well. The background, amazing. Um, the fact that you can stack them and you just put all your lights on the inside down the website below. Um, I'm sure you guys are wondering who's in Santana's old enclosure. Obviously, I'm still going to keep this baby because I paid way too much money for it. And if I put it out and offer up, like, I wouldn't get half the money. It'd be a pain in the butt to, like, take out of here. And now my tortoise is in it. And I feel like the humidity is so much better in there for him than it was in that, like, little Amazon wood one I got, which I said I liked before. And now I'm changing my mind. Like, he's doing way better in there. So, like I said, there's going to be a whole, like, reptile room tour coming up soon. Um, you know, I'm going to pull out Santana real quick because you guys haven't seen him in a minute. Here he is. He's kind of, like, getting a little bit more, like, he's slowing down a little bit more. He's definitely tired. I feel like just because it's getting a little bit colder now, he usually slows down around this time but that's still not like keeping him from eating and playing around and being the wild dragon that he usually is. I was pulling out some of my like Christmas decorations and found some of his old like, Christmas costumes. I have to do some reels and TikToks on that, but here's my boy Santana. Throw a little white heart if you remember the vlog of when I brought him home. Like he was so tiny. He's a big guy now. If you are new to my channel, do not forget to hit that subscribe button, notification bell, follow us on all socials, they're linked down below. All that is free. Um, we're gonna keep this going. Hopefully I'll have like a Christmas vlog coming up here soon. So we appreciate you guys and until next time, Oh, and don't forget, go check out these enclosures. The website's down below. Okay, Santana. You're so big now, bro. Bye. doing so good with like this build already effed up